Hello everyone, Jankos here and this is going to be the review of patch 11.9 I'm just done exercising, um, well if you're watching my stream And it's time to review the patch notes uh, This patch, um, as it is confirmed already, is going to happen at MSI So the MSI will be held on patch 11.9 It is not as relevant for me as it used to be in the past Sage, but it is what it is. So let's start off. Champions Diana armor growth reduced by about 0.5, health regen reduced by one. Then passive a bonus attack speed reduced by five percent in the early level scales the same way. Um, I think these Diana changes are necessary because I do think she's giga broken in the jungle currently. Um, that being said. I also think these changes um, will not kill Diana. I still think she's going to be uh, very, very usable. Maybe a little bit less usable against AD champions, but she's definitely still going to stay strong and uh, stay usable in the jungle if you are a Diana fan. Uh, and if you are not, you should probably pick it up. Dr. Mundo, base stats, armor growth also reduced by half and AD growth reduced by half. I'm not sure exactly why, um, because I didn't see any Mundo on my ELO. Maybe it's more of a, mm, a lower ELO kind of thing with the Mundo, but uh, well, if Riot thinks it's, it needs nerfs, then sure, I suppose. I'm not sure why, why is he exactly getting nerfed, but uh, yeah. Garen, bonus resistance is uh, also reduced per stack. It's going to be 0 0.2, not 25. And bonus resist uh, resistance is until uh, units kill cap is now 150. So you need to, first of all, kill more minions to cap the resistances. And also the resistances will give you less resistances. So you are losing... Um, well, in the end, if you kill 150 minions, the W will be the same, but you just have to kill more minions to stack it fully. Yeah, whatever. Gragas, Body Slam, base damage on E reduced on later levels, starts from 5 damage on level 2, and then by the time you max it to level 5, it's 20 damage less. Uh, I Probably it's mostly because Gragas is kind of a triple flex, like you could play it um, sometimes jungle, top and uh, support, so... Makes sense to weaken uh, the champion a little bit. I still think his laning phase top is going to be um, decent, but yeah, a little bit less damage. Uh, probably this um, makes the Super Gragas a bit worse, right? Because Super Gragas will max body slam, so maybe uh, the Super Gragas will be a little bit weaker now. Hecarim! Armor reduced by 4, armor growth increased by 25 though, so in their game a bit weaker. Damage amplification per stack is now 2% plus 1% per 33 bonus AD, not total AD, bonus AD. Uh, so you actually have to build AD to have more Q damage. Um, a spirit of Dread, Hecarim no longer heals 30% of the damage taken by enemies within their area. Now, uh, Hecarim now heals for 30% plus 1% per 40 bonus AD of the damage he deals to the target. This is half to 15% uh, for, uh, for damage dealt by allies um, and then devastating charge minimum base damage uh, is reduced by quite a lot and maximum base damage also reduced by quite a lot so overall i suppose they want to make him well if you build ad now your damage will still be viable if you don't build ad your damage will be way way weaker so a tank hacker him uh, especially with the uh, uh, turbo chem tank nerfs that are coming soon I don't think it's gonna be very available currently I think uh, Hecarim is giga OP so I'm very very happy with the changes I think Hecarim is going to be less viable um, than he used to be still AD Hecarim is gonna probably stay relevant but tank Hecarim uh, should slowly disappear uh, Heimer Dinger initial rocket damage is reduced by 5 starting from level 2 as well maximum rocket damage also reduced by 30 even at max level um not sure about that as well because heimerdinger is not being played often uh, or at least i don't see it often but maybe uh, unnecessary changes q crit strike bug fix fish bone splash damage crit strike bug fix it was 200 percent now it's gonna be 175 percent damage of the primary attack was unchanged and has been correctly 175 percent so no nerfs to jinx just bug fixes that still makes me think jinx is gonna be giga broken currently if you get uh, one or two kills with jinx she will roll over everyone she will kind of one shot everyone so um i think we will definitely see jinx at msi i'm not sure about hackering but definitely we will see jinx at msi kane q darking damage modifier increase Darking damage modifier is going to be 65% uh, of total AD, not 55. Darking, Darking, I believe, um, is the lifesteal cane, so like the red cane. So red cane is going to have a little bit more Q damage. Kidred, Q, Dance of Arrows, cooldown decreased to 8 seconds, base, base damage increased by 5 starting from level 2. I think that will make Kindred very strong already right now. I really enjoy playing Kindred. Um, I think that will benefit her early clear, uh, clear quite a lot. 
as you won't have to wait uh, nine seconds you have to wait only eight seconds between queues of course if you have the w on it doesn't matter the change at all and then base damage increased also by even 20 at max level and you do queue quite a lot so i'm pretty happy with the changes come out q causing spill resistance reduction is increased by five percent uh, overall and then void oath cost uh, mana cost reduced by 20 um kogma could be an answer to jinx because both of them have hyper carries with very high range and i do think kogma could actually win lane against jinx he doesn't really have the push but he's very strong in team fights too so we may see some kogma jinx matchups adam aside if um he actually can lane right uh, but the mana changes on E and also a little bit more resistance shed it's gonna uh, make him quite interesting Lulu whimsy cooldown reduced by one second ally cast bonus attack speed increased by 5% uh, at early ranks so whimsy got a little bit stronger if you buff your allies in early Morgana of course nerfing Morgana jungle a little bit it was very very strong lately damage against monsters decreased by 15% uh, still going to be viable I think just the fact that uh, she will clear a bit slower currently Morgana is one of the fastest clears in game and uh, that will make her clear uh, probably like 5 to 10 seconds slower which will make her more on pair with the other junglers rumble passive junkyard titan overheated bonus on hit damage decreased by five uh scales to 40 not 50 and also five percent less ap scaling on the passive also makes him a little bit weaker when you all in in the early game or when you jungle here then set w haymaker damage ratio is going to be 20 percent per 100 bonus ad and not 10 percent so ad set and also damage uh, ad damage ratio would 20 percent higher so ad set could make a comeback uh, i know for a fact that canyon likes to play nidali so maybe some set mid lane with a nidali jungle um or set top lane with a nidali jungle in some matchups could be quite interesting i think set is a very cool design i really like to play around his ultimate especially if he can ult the tanks into the team fight so um yeah i'm looking forward shen well, minimum shield is decreased, but it scales with bonus health now. And maximum shield is also decreased, like the flat, but it also scales with bonus health. So the more tanky Shen, the bigger the shield is. I, I This is like kind of useless change, honestly. Um, Tariq. The Q mana cost decreased by quite a lot, actually, uh, which basically means... Tarek will be able to spam his heals uh, more frequently, uh, being in team fights or during the laning phase. Uh, pretty cool change for the Tarek mains. Trandle, Pillar of Ice is only. Wait. Pillar of Ice is 32% second slow level 1 now, which means maybe you won't have to max it anymore. <laughs> I tried to play Trandle on stage, it didn't work, but when you max out the Pillar, it's actually Giga OP, 60% slow uh, permanently, and it's a Pillar, right? So against tanks, it's very good. Now it's 32% base level 1, so maybe you don't max the Pillar anymore, maybe you max Q into W, and then you actually max Pillar the last, but the slow, but the 32% slow is still quite, quite a lot. I think the biggest problem with Trandle, though, is his uh, jungle here. Cooldown, uh, uh, Q cooldown increased later, so Vladimir Q cooldown is now 4.6 instead of 5 seconds like it used to be, or 4 seconds like it used to be last patch only. Zeraf, damage in decreased by 10, so flat damage decreased, but better scaling. I have Distraction, uh, damage increased though, and Enchant, Enchant, okay, so the targets in the middle will also take a little bit um, more damage in the center of the blast i i, I can english <laughs> deadman play 300 health less pretty big nerf to the item uh definitely will hurt champions like hecarim uder uh hecarim of course being nerfed overall uh, there's still turbo camp tank nerfs coming so this item will uh probably not be as as broken as it was dead stance attack damage increased by five armor increased by five so cool buffs for dead stance don't really used a lot so kind of kind of nice moonstone renewer starlight grace heal increased by 10 pro scroll updated targets enemy exactly at the curses at the cursor looks for a target in the following order nearest champion within 50 units of the cursors near so yeah i mean i guess a little bit easier to target people with prowess scroll sunfire edges emoltiate so the fire bonus damage to monsters now is 150 percent not 100 percent bonus damage so if you actually build sunfire you will be able to clear jungle monsters quicker um if it's worth it i'm not sure the item is still quite expensive for the stat it provides uh turbo chem tank Bonus band speed decreased by f to 40% instead of 60, so a lot of triple camp tank nerfs. I think that's a good change. Uh, I think it was played on every tank. Maybe we'll see more Iceborne Gauntlet. I'm still, yeah, not sure about Sunfire, but maybe. Witsend, 
attack damage increased by 10 and also mm, the build path is slightly changed now builds out of longsword and not a dagger and less gold um so yeah i mean that's kind of cool i guess in-game shop updates we don't really care that much um summon rift ranked split two starts now so uh, new emotes i suppose with the gwen and uh, some new skins conqueror ja jacks kind of cool conqueror jacks prestige edition as well um yeah the thing is um, I can't, um, you know, go back. <laughs> and what else is there? There was one more skin to talk about, maybe. Uh, oh yeah, the diamond skins are coming out. So I'm very excited for the Nidali skin. Uh, the Nidali skin, I think, is gonna be pretty, pretty dope. Actually, I'm so bad at this. I think I should just like open everything on a new page, and that way we can just go one by one. This is Canon, of course. This one is Leona. Um, this one is, I don't even know what this is, it looks like TF, it's probably TF, and then Jin. Well, I think I need, like Nida the most. Thank you very, very much for watching. I think this patch is going to be um, pretty exciting on MSI. I'm not really sure if this will bring that many changes to the meta though. Maybe we'll see less tanks. I still think Diana and Morgana and Rumble even are going to be viable junglers. Hecarim will probably disappear, but we can see some Kindred, uh, which I'm excited for because I really do enjoy playing Kindred. Um, and yeah, well, we will see what happens. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please leave a comment down below. If I missed something or maybe, um, again, there's a champion that I didn't think about uh, that could come back to the meta because of these changes, but I don't think the patch was that huge, uh, so I don't really see it. And well, have a great day. Bye-bye, see you next time.